Hi, I'm Dave Villarreal. I'm with uh, Central Texas Archery in Austin. Um, I've talked before about shooting with the mount tab. Uh, so today, because I'm getting questions about the mount tab for me, so I, I, I kind of want to go into a little, a little more detail about the mount tab um, that I use. I, like I said, I've tried different things. I, I know a lot of mouth tap shooters, and uh, a lot of people try different things, um, and pe different things for different people, I guess. And uh, <clears throat> I, I've mentioned before, uh, I, I know people that use a leather strap or a strapping. Uh, I know people who've used um, like cat collars, the, the nylon material. Uh, like a cat collar or a dog collar kind of thing, they use that. Um, <clears throat> I've tried many, many different things. Um, uh, but to me, the, a lot of these things, you know, I've, I've got great friends who, who've been very generous and made mouth taps for me, you know, and, uh, for me to try when I was first starting and uh, uh, not knowing much about it. Um, but I found that a lot of the material that's used, uh, that's thinner, uh, that it, it's not as comfortable to bite down on. It kind of makes my teeth hurt for me. Uh, it makes my jaws hurt uh, pretty bad. Uh, toward the end of the of a shooting competition, when I get, uh, I guess, uh, to the 10th, 11th, 12th round, uh, man, my jaws are, are, are really sore and weak. Uh, so I, what I've done, uh, when I first started out, um, someone had given me a sheet of paper and it had a diagram on it on how to, well, I can't see what I'm doing, yeah, how to make this mouth tab. Uh, it's just some 550 cord and uh, it was sewn together and they taught, I learned how to shoot off of this. And, uh, so I, I used it quite a bit at the beginning. And again, it was okay to start with, you know, not knowing any better. Um, I mean, this is what I used. And, um, and then over time, as I started to improve in my archery, I noticed that I, mean, I, I started to learn, oh man, there's a lot to archery. It's, it's not just pulling an arrow and shooting it, you know, or a string. Um, and it goes to the weight of the string, the weight of the tip of the arrow. Uh, I mean, everything, everything's taken into consideration. And uh, same thing goes for these mouth tabs now. Um, I, I learned for me to use this mouth tab uh, at you know at the length that it was. And this is about the length of, of what the paper told me to do. Uh, whenever I would shoot, uh, when I released it, well, when the mouth tab got to the very to the stopping point to release the arrow, the mouth tab would swing around on the string and pop that arrow. And had, sometimes it had because uh, uh, the more you bite on it, the heavier it gets with sw uh, the saliva. It gets really wet. <laughs> so with it like this, uh, Understand you're gonna th you're gonna be slinging a lot of spit. You're gonna be slinging a lot of spit. So if you if you're I'm, I'm changing the subject real quick. So if you're you're sitting here and you're about to shoot, um, and there's somebody right in front of you and somebody behind you when you're shooting, uh, when you release that thing and that thing twists, it, it's slinging spit everywhere. So you may notice the the person in front in front of you, their butt is going to get a little wet from. I've noticed it sometimes too, which is kind of funny, but just giving you a heads up. Anyway, uh, so what I've done, I've made up, I've made up three, and I'm sending them to a friend. Uh, but I want, I want to kind of explain this so if he watches this video, he kind of, kind of sees how it's done and and what he'll end up doing um, in the future with it. Uh, for me, I use 550 cord or paracord, either one. And uh, this, this stuff's d this dirt cheap, man. I've had this roll, oh my goodness, I think since the middle of last year, maybe the beginning of last year, and uh, it lasts forever. Uh, that roll is replaced. This is the end of my first roll th that I started with 
um, four, five, six years ago. This is the last piece of that. So that's how long this stuff lasts to make these mouth tabs. Now, um, again, what I want to show, I'm going to start out uh, just like this one. All you have to do is uh, just get you a piece of string about that long. I mean, I'm, what, four, uh, five, six inches maybe. You want to get a little extra. Uh, it's easier to work with when, and you can cut the extra off when you're done. But um, all you do is get it, fold it in half, uh, and then I'll cut this part off. But for the video, I'll, I'm going to leave it on. Um, adjust it here. So I, I have about that much. That's what it, that's what it'll look like. Uh, this the D loop will go through this part up here. It, it'll hit right here. So what I do is I fold this, I cut this off, and then I get needle and thread, and um, uh, that's with the D loop. Uh, I get needle and thread. It's not pretty. It's nothing fancy. It, you know, I, I'll, I'll clip. I clip the Irish pendants, as I call them, off uh, the, the extra string uh, thread. I, I clip all that off. But uh, I'll just sew it. I'll go down and then I go back up and go in circles because I, I just want to try to stay on there for a whole competition. Uh, but that's how that one's made. It's a very simple, very basic um, mouth tab. Uh, the other thing that I do is whenever I'm working with uh, with this 550 cord, um, this stuff really, really tends to run a lot. Uh, once you cut the ends, this is what ends up happening to it. it it'll get it'll get to looking like this, and it's kind of frustrating. So to avoid that, even just to work, and this is just me, not everybody does this. Uh, I'll get a, a lighter, a big lighter or whatever lighter, and then I'll 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 burn the part the ends there. Let's see if I can see it good there. But I'll burn them and I'll hit them against the lighter case lighter casing uh, to make it mushroom out like that. So now I'm able to work with it without it being everywhere. So anyway, that was the first mouthpiece um, that I the mouth tab that I made. Uh, very simple, very quick. Um, well, I say simple. Uh, I had to get somebody else to thread the needle for me and stuff. And if you have use of both hands, very simple for you. For you, very simple. I have limited use of my right hand, and, and that's only when it wants to work. Uh, when it decides it's tired, it ain't doing nothing. So, uh, you learn to use other tools. But anyway, that's how the first one, the first one I just showed you, that's how I made it. Now the second one uh, that I, ma I made, and I used um, for a long time, um, is, is this one. And all I've done with this is tie, tie three knots, three. And, uh, and I do three, I'm showing you three to start with. Uh, what I do now, if I use, if something happens to my mouth tab while I'm shooting, this is my emergency go go to. I'll grab a piece of string, tie it twice, cut it off, and again I'll burn the tip so that way it doesn't, it doesn't come undone. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, the more you put this in your mouth, the wetter it's going to get, the softer this is going to get. Where you burned it to make sure it doesn't slide out, kind of like a D loop. To make sure it doesn't slide out, well, it's going to get wet, and it's going to slide out. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, like I said, I, I used this for a long time, but I, I kind of, for me, I, I, I turned it around and improved it, and I'll show that in a second. But even to do this, uh, you notice I've got the end of the, the loop there on, on the D loop string, you know, so you can attach it to your bow string. And... Uh, this right here, I mean, it's about uh, half inch, three quarter inch. Uh, by the end of your first set, if, if you're, you know, the first six or first seven, eight, whatever you're shooting, that's going to stretch. It's going to stretch a lot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to almost, almost double in length. And the only reason I'm saying that, because uh, if I bite down on this right now, it'll, it'll come right back here. I mean, right at the edge. Uh, 
Um, between the front and the back of my mouth, is right in the middle, and that, that's kind of com comfortable for me right now. But once it starts stretching, you're going you'll actually end up biting with your molars, way you know, way back in the back to hold it. So that that will stretch quite a bit, but it's comfortable to hold a big chunk of uh, uh, string that for me is comfortable. Uh, I've tried this, and other buddies of mine have tried this with, with like the D-loop string or, or something a little thinner. And boy, that stuff, boy, is hard. That that stuff is really tough. Uh, so my old little weenie butt uh, has to use this uh, in order for me to shoot because it's a little more comfortable for me. And the way I do this is I'll I'll get the string and literally just just. Let me get my elbow on my arm so I can hold it up. It literally, it's just tie a knot. That's, that's all I'm doing. I, I'm tying a knot, uh, making it tight, and, and, the, and then before I get it too tight, I'll, I'll open it up uh, where there's a hole there. Uh, if I can see, yeah, where that's that hole right there, and I'll slide the D loop in there. And then I'll, I'll tighten it up as tight as I can get it. I've got tools over there I can, I can actually hold because the, the pressure of my hand, it tends to close up all the time. So I'm able to grip uh, pretty good with the pliers and stuff or the tool that I use. And then all I do then is go back and uh, do, do it one, maybe two more times. But... I'll put the string in, and again, I can't do it right now because I don't have my tool, but I'll, I'll tighten it up as tight as I can get it. Um, again, the, the D loop will be there on the end, but now you see I'm starting to form something to bite down on. And uh, I'll do it one more time, and uh, all I'm doing is just tying a, just a typical simple knot. Just something easy to do and pull it on there um, and and pull tight to get it tightened and that's what you'll end up with now remember I said that the more you pull on this and, and, and with it being in your mouth and getting wet with the saliva it'll actually end up being about this long overall and again it depends on the weight that you pull I pull 60 pounds on my compound I pull 50 pounds on my recurve. So that's a lot of pressure that I'm putting on this little mouth tab. So it tends to stretch, and even more so when it's wet. Uh, but it, it'll almost double in size. It, it, it'll get about this long where, where my thumb is. Uh, it'll get there. So keep in mind, because again, when this when you shoot, this that's what it does after you shoot um, on the bowstring. Uh, even even though it's tied up to there, it's still going to just flip around and smack that arrow. So you, you really want to try to keep it as short as you can, giving the arrow time to to clear away from the bowstring at the shooting so this thing doesn't affect that in any way. So what I do then, I'll end up cutting it about right there. I'm a little shorter. About right there, I'll cut it with my X-Acto knife over there. Then I'll get that, and then what I do, let me get my elbow up. What I do then, well, I'll go ahead and, oh. What I do then, I think I've already, I already melted that one. But let's say is that this, I'll end up pushing it down and flaring it out and make it look like that. So it'll look exactly like that. And then I'll get one, it won't be as long, I'll cut that off, but it'll be half as long as that probably. I'll get my um, big lighter and I'll burn all that stuff down and I, I, I want to get it to mushroom out like that. So that way it doesn't slide back through from you pulling it so much. Uh, that's, let me untie this now. Because that's how I do uh, that mouthpiece. Uh, like I said, it's just a matter of time, two or three knots, and and, and it's done. Oh, heck, let me put this down. Um, 
the, this last one that I did, it, you're gonna have, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't remember how I taught these knots. That knot, it's called the heart knot. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't have to make it very often. This is the, this knot lasts forever and ever and ever. I even pre-made one and I keep this in my case uh, for when, in case I need one. That, that's how long they last. Uh, I think I made this a year and a half ago. It, it's still there. Uh, but it's called a heart, H-E-A-R-T, not. Uh, you'll have to look it up because I got to pause that thing just to see how they're making it. But uh, you know, I apologize, I haven't, I haven't memorized it. But even if I memorize it, being a five-time stroke survivor, I won't forget anyway. Uh, but anyway, this is the knot <clears throat> that I use. It's called a heart knot. Uh, it's supposed to be shaped like a heart. Uh, different people make it different ways. Um, but this is what it's called. And it, it doesn't stretch. It stretches a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, enough that I'm happy with it. And boy, I, when I bite down on this one, uh, I, I've got... I mean, it's tied, the, the D-loop is tied on regular. Uh, but when I bite down on this, the, this top part of the string and this bottom, bottom part of the string, my lip touches that part every time. So now I got the exact same anchor point for when I shoot. But this is the one that I use. It's called the heart knot. And you can see where I, you know, I, I tell you to burn it off. Uh, the reason for that is when you start stretching this stuff and it starts and it starts getting loose, that uh, on the either end and mushrooms out, and that mushroom keeps it from sliding back through the loop, through the hole. Uh, it spreads it out so it, it kind of acts like a stop and it keeps it in one place for you. Now this is the one that I use, and, and I've been very fortunate to have it. I've, I've done really well with this. I won uh, quite, a, quite a number of competitions because of this mouth tab right here. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, again, I apologize for not remembering how to make it, but it's, uh, I'll tell you, it's called a heart knot. Just go to YouTube, punch in uh, how to tie a heart knot. And man, all kinds of videos will come up. Um, but there's one that I, that I see that uh, I like a lot. I can't remember the name either but it's shaped like a heart and might not come out as pretty because I'm doing it one-handed but it comes out good enough for me to shoot with so anyway uh, like I said I use I personally use 550 cord this it come I get it at a, uh, man where do I get it? Hobby Lobby or, or Michaels I think it was Michaels that had it for sure but uh it comes this is I don't remember how much is this. Uh, it's cheap. I think it's is 50 foot or 20 foot maybe. So I think it's 20 foot of, of string here. But uh, like I told you, this is the last piece of what I had from three or four years ago. So it, it lasts a long time uh, and it works really well for, for me. So uh, plus it comes in different colors. You can, you can pick whatever color you want and um, but that's how I do it. Uh, that's how I work on this. That's how I do my shooting. Um, like I said, um, I, I've made three up. And uh, I've been talking to a gentleman and, and he's going from um, able body shooting. He's gonna start parachuting. Um, he's not able to use his arms as much anymore or, or, or his shoulders, I can't remember. But uh, anyway, he's gonna start shooting sitting down too. Um, I'm making these and see if, if these work for him. Uh, hopefully so. Uh, it'll release some of the tension in, in his body. Some. Uh, he's he want to learn to deal with different stuff. So, but anyway, this is a quick video on the different mouth tabs I made. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I'll make more videos on things that I do personally that work for me. I, I can't speak for every mouth tab puller. Uh, I'm just telling you, this is what I do. This is how I do it. And this, I'll share this information with whoever wants to have it. Um, I hope you know it'll help them or a variation of what I did will, will assist somebody. 
Um, so I'm part of Central Texas Archery um, down here in Austin. And we really appreciate you. Thank you for bearing with us uh, through this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic thing. And uh, stay safe, stay smart, and man, remember you're number one, man. Nobody's, nobody's more important than you uh, because as long as you're okay, everybody else is okay. And I uh, hope to see you out here on the range soon. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Have a good day.